Let me show you this thing. It's almost above average. Down to my classroom and like then I heard the sirens go off and I thought, oh hell no, not again. And I bolted for the bathroom. <laughs> that was yeah. the first thing I did. I'd ever get as hyped as you do the choice. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I had cartoons, man. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, there were, there were cartoons in the beginning. And then, yeah, when I was a teenager. You're labor ready. <laughs> suddenly it was different. <laughs> yeah. I had an okay childhood, but not having things made me want to just get everything, want to buy everything. You know, when yeah. you get clean, you get money, you see it, you want it, you buy it. So, about principles. You get what I'm coming from? I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just don't use or drink no more, but I still have my, my personal issues too. You know what I mean? Oh, but y'all yeah. helps me weave out what's right and wrong when it comes to decisions. Um, it was funny. I just had this conversation with a client recently about the importance of representation, gender representation in the field of engineering. And we were talking about like, I'm a huge Boston Red Sox fan. And when I started selling, that's how I got into the drug game because growing up, I'd never been around drugs. I'd never been around, you know, that type of environment because the environment I was raised in, my grandmother was a seven day Adventist. Belly up, nobody got to see the movie. I got rave reviews, and the film was, was in a legal strong box for decades.